Hey guys, welcome to Blonity. First, my little disclaimer, this is not financial advice, my own opinion and estimates. My estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in Hive blockchain technologies. Okay, let's jump right into the news here. Um, we have, yeah, good news from Hive blockchain. Um, they bought more than 3000 new Bitcoin ASIC miners. Um, to increase the production by 46%, the good thing is it's immediately. So um, I think they were hosting these miners for um, foundry, for this big mining pool um, in, in the facilities, for example, in La Chute in Canada and New Brunswick. And now they bought these miners from foundry. So they already have them installed in the facility. And now they're following with the hash rate, the foundry mining pool. So, um, yeah, very interesting partnership here. Um, I think uh, had is doing the same, um, bit farms, I think, uh, is mining. I don't, I don't know. I don't think they have the hash rate dedicated to foundry, but they also bought miners from foundry. Yeah, we will see. So yeah, first of all, let's go to the news here. Um, so 264 peta hash here increase 46%. Um, right now, Hive blockchain has um, 830 peta hash, uh, which generates, or the addition generates like 80,000 US dollars in daily income. So these new miners <clears throat> um, with the 830 peta hash, yeah, you generate right now 250,000 US dollars in revenue. So um, Hive blockchain is becoming a more and more important Bitcoin miner. Um, before there were only Ethereum or the biggest part was Ethereum, but now Bitcoin is getting bigger and bigger. We can see that the Bitcoin um, mining now has more revenue than the Ethereum mining. Um, yeah, right now the 3.1 Terra hash in mining power here, they generate an, um, the revenue of 180,000 US dollars. So together Ethereum and Bitcoin mining right now for more than 400,000 revenue per day for Hive blockchain. And I think we can agree that um, Bitcoin and Ethereum right now, they, the price looks very low. So with the rising price again, the hash rate will, in my opinion, not rise that fast. Um, this revenue could, uh, yeah, could uh, grow uh, significantly here. But let's go back here to the news. So the miners to be acquired in the transactions are already located on site at Hive's facilities in La Chute, Quebec and Grand Falls, New Brunswick. Uh, the miners are being purchased from Foundry Digital, a wholly owned subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, focused on digital assets, mining and staking. As part of the partnership, Hive will contribute its Bitcoin hash power to Foundry USA pool going forward. Um, yeah, whose other major customers include Blockcap, Hot8, Bitfarms and Foundry itself, among others. Yeah, so um, yeah, they're following here this um, group of miners. Frank Holmes says, we are pleased to be executing on the transaction that dramatically increases our mining capacity. Um, yeah, increased transparency and accountability with our partners. Um, I think that's also important with the foundry pool. Mining power is shifting from east to west and we are excited to be involved. <coughs> yeah, we can see here some warrants and some cash. We don't know uh, the cash, how much cash is um does it cost but uh yeah 1.5 million warrants here i mean hive has approximately 360 million shares outstanding something like this maybe more right now so 1.5 million it's it's less than one percent so it's it's not not a big dilution here for sure the hodl strategy hive right now um, has 605 bitcoins in cold wallets so nice hodl here and it's growing um Yes, and Hive is following now the, the Foundry mining pool. Um, let's go there. Um, we have it here. So the Foundry mining pool is right now number seven uh, on a global scale. I mean, the, the Chinese pools, they drop big. We know this, the market share dropped big. Foundry right now has 5.6 exahash um, running here. <clears throat> What's also interesting that the Mara pool here is at number nine with 2.35 exahash. So maybe that's the hash rate right now from Mara. 
um, because I think they're the only one mining there. Um, so that's a good number here to track the live hash rate of Mara, for example. So I will I will check this out um, on a daily basis now. Yeah, but um, Hive is following here the Foundry USA pool. Um, we can also see that the USA share is growing here with Foundry, with Mara pool and some other pools. So I think that's a, that's a very good sign. Okay, so the the disclosed hash rate for Bitcoin mining for Hive blockchain rises now. It should rise to 2.7 exa um, hash because they had already 2.47 exa hash disclosed. We should get now to 2.7 at the end of the year. And the goal was three exa hash. So gonna be interesting whether Hive can yeah can go there. I'm calculating right now with 120 megawatts here, four cents. So that should be 24 Bitcoins with the hash rate right now. We know the hash rate will rise. So it could be 20 Bitcoins, could be uh, 15 to 20 Bitcoins maybe at the end of the year right now with a revenue of 838,000 US dollars a day. So huge increase to um, yeah where we are right now. And we have Ethereum, which um, yeah, Hive will increase at the end of the year to 5.5 terahash. I think this is the goal. Um, right now, the revenue would be 300,000. So yeah, the day uh, Hive is on track to to get to one one million uh, US dollars in revenue per day, which means more than 300 million US dollars per year. And yeah, I mean, if the bull run continues and we get a lot higher prices, I think to the upside there's a lot of room. I think to the downside. Um, in my opinion, there is not that much room. I mean, we can make another drop here for sure. But um, I think there's a lot more potential to the upside. And yeah, this will benefit Hive. So I think they will get to 1 million US dollars per day in revenue. And that would be great. When we look to the difficulty in Bitcoin, it's right now estimated in five days, minus seven to minus six percent. So we will get another drop and our bitcoin miners will mine more bitcoins after the next difficulty adjust adjustment you know the last one was 28 uh, percent minus 28 percent and this one is again negative so this would be the fourth negative adjustment in a row and very big one okay guys so um this is the hive news thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one auf wiedersehen